Tiger Shell nose getting massive. This is a pretty big snake inside of this bag right here. Our beautiful T positive has a T negative. What is up G Squad? Welcome back to another awesome video. If you guys could not tell by today's title and thumbnail, it's gonna be a pretty exciting one we got on our hands today. We are, of course, gonna be heading down to the FedEx Ship Center, and uh, you guys should all probably know, even know how to get there by now with how many times we've been there on this channel. But uh, today, we are actually going to be picking up two brand new snakes, and when I say snakes, you guys, this is these are going to be the largest snakes that I own. Um, I do own the species, but they're still babies. Now, these are two years old, and let's say they are pretty big, probably pushing just around five feet now, four and a half, five feet. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. And uh, these snakes are known to be a little bit spicy. So it might be pretty entertaining to see me unbox these snakes and get them out of this box today. So hopefully you all are gonna enjoy this one and hopefully you all are gonna stick around and watch this video till the end. Oh, hold on. Our uh, lens gets a little foggy when we walk outside with this camera because it's so humid here in Florida. We are going to be heading down to the FedEx Ship Center and going to pick up this box and grab these two brand new snakes. Now before we head down to the FedEx Ship Center, I'm of course going to give you guys updates around the whole garage, fill you guys in on this pond, show you guys all the snakes. Another thing we are going to be doing in today's video is our pond was super, super dirty, so we went ahead and did a complete water change in this video, so you guys are going to get a good look at some of these fish that we've been growing out. That pond was just so dirty, we had a big bacteria bloom, nasties, filter needed to be cleaned. So we did that in today's video. Let's get right into updating you guys. Our beautiful T positive, head for T negative, King Rat Snake. He has shed it, I think, since the last time you guys saw him. So he is looking even better this time. Those yellows are really, really starting to pop. And he is looking magnificent. And right now, his lady is looking a little dull, but she is also about to shed. Yesterday, her eyes were all gray. But uh, she is definitely getting ready to shed. And then right under her, we have one of my favorite king rat snakes. This is our lovely male Exanthic. He is an uh, absolute sweetheart. And uh, he is going to be beautifully black and white. Just amazing. Come on, buddy, right here. But that is our Exanthic king rat snake. Still kind of going through the ontogenesis. He's still brown, of course. Still got his baby colors. And right under that little fella. We got this beautiful green Baron's racer, Pinocchio. What is up, Pinocchio? Nice look at him. Don't mind the spray paint all over me. Look at how beautiful that snake is. Right? I mean, look at that guy. Absolutely amazing. Here is our beautiful female Exanthic. She's a little on the spicier side, but she is really starting to go through that change as well. Starting to get nice. And uh, those white bands are really starting to come into play here. And right here we've got our beautiful, our beautiful little pine snake, Kirby. She is growing like a weed. And last but not least, we've got our beautiful blue Barons racer. This girl is just getting ready to go into a shed as well. You can see she's starting to turn really gray, a darkish color. But uh, after the shed, she'll be a nice baby blue color. Don't mind the glass on some of these bioactives. A lot of them are empty with no geckos in them because we, uh, we took all of them out because we were waiting on this package. I don't know if you guys remember, but quite some time ago, I mentioned that these lovely people from Isopod Source were going to send us a bunch of isopods and dirt and all that cool kind of fun stuff that they're gonna send us for our bioactives. Well, they actually sent it to us. They were taking care of some stuff for a while, so they never really were able to get back to me, but they finally were able to get back to me, and we got a big box to unbox. So if you guys are wanting to see that, stay tuned. In the next video, we are going to be unboxing a bunch of really neat, rare little isopods, which is a cleanup crew for bioactives like this here. So if you guys want to see that, definitely uh, smash those notification bells because we'll be doing that unboxing next video. We got our bioactives, and these pothos are growing like crazy. I mean, these are just cuttings from around my house. Like I said, you guys, no geckos in here. No geckos in here, but our plants are growing mighty fine. Now, I showed you guys some cool stuff, showed you guys some awesome updates. Not to get into the bad side of things. Unfortunately, you guys, we had lost our Pyara, our vampire fish. Trust me, you all know how much I love that fish when I unbox it. I'm pretty bummed out. We had him eating, he was doing great. I actually had a problem with this fish tank here and I suppose that's probably the reason he passed away, unfortunately. I have a lot of wires on my ground and my bike, you guys are not gonna wanna believe this. 
My bike right there, you see how it fell over? Unplugged the whole extension cord overnight. We had no oxygen all night. Thankfully, I came in here and my Oscars were just like <laughs> And um, unfortunately, that Pyara passed away. So stupid little things can happen, you know? It's just stupid that that had to happen that way and we lost the Pyara because of that bike. Anyways, here is an update on our Oscar crew right here. We've got the super red Oscar. We've got the baby red Oscar. We've got one of our lemons. And then you guys, we've got a new little fella right here. All right, this guy came from our good friend, Paul Caffero. I don't know the reason why he gave it to me, but he came over and he goes, here, I got an Oscar for you. And I said, sweet, whatever. So we got another little Oscar. And if you guys didn't know, our, our little baby lemon Oscar jumped out of that butterfly net and got eaten up by those catfish. So we are right back to having four Oscars. We got a little albino. We got a albino red. We've got a lemon, and like I said, we've got a little chili red Oscar. So we've got a nice little group of Oscars here. Look at how crystal clear that pond is, everybody. Crystal, crystal clear. I'm not gonna sit here though and talk forever. Let's get right in this car and head over to the FedEx Ship Center and grab these amazing snakes, you guys. I wanna give a big shout out to Mike Anthony over at the Amazon Reptile Corner. This is like one of the goats. If you guys don't know what the goat means, it means greatest of all time. He is literally a legend in the King Rat Snake community, so I am very, very blessed to be owning something from him, and uh, I'm very, very excited to see what these guys are looking like. We've got our little temporary quarantine bins because we do quarantine everything that comes in. I hope that these bins are big enough. If they end up being a little bit too small, we'll have to run to the store after this video and go and grab them, but I think for now, this should be plenty. I think we're in our 50 quart. We are in about a 50 quart bin. Like I was saying, I don't really know how big these snakes truly are. I only saw some pictures in a video of them, but we got the biggest bins that we found yesterday. If not, I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot and get some bigger ones. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right here, we have our two Elafe Carinata King Rat Snakes. Let's do this thing, you guys. Super excited to see how these guys look. Let's get home. And just like that, we are back in the garage. We've got our box here, and we are getting ready to unbox. Woof. Right here, guys. In this box, we've got two very beautifully large snakes. So I cannot wait to get this unboxed and see what we're working with in there. But first and foremost, I think what we're gonna do is actually set up these bins just in case like I said, you guys, these are some larger snakes, so when I get them out of the box, I don't want to stress them out at all. I just want to get them right inside of the bin, and uh, I mean, if they're cool and all, we'll, we'll hold them and show them off a little bit, but gotta understand if these larger snakes are a little stressed out and trying to bite me, I'm gonna get them inside of the bin. So let's just get these set up. Let's get some bedding in here, and uh, like I said, you guys, we're not gonna have any hides for them, unfortunately, until I think it said on Wednesday, what's today? I think they said they're coming Wednesday. So they should be here tomorrow, hopefully. We're gonna have some little little plastic hides for these snakes. And uh, like I said, you guys, these are just temporary quarantine bins. Eventually, we're gonna be putting them in a V70 tub, which is a tub that covers the whole bottom, like a whole row, so a very, very large tub. These are actually being kept right now in the V70s. And then, you guys, eventually, we'll be able to upgrade. And uh, once, these, once these are kind of getting to like the five, six foot mark, that's when we'll upgrade them to a big old vision cage if it all works out. Let's get these things set up and get these things unboxed. We have got our bedding inside. Nice and perfectly laid. Perfect. We've got both of our quarantine bins filled up with the bedding. It is now the moment of truth to unbox these beautiful snakes. All right, this is a little different scenery here. My pond actually came in super clutch. We've kind of got the camera angled up on the ledge of the pond right now, but this is it, everybody. The moment that we've all been waiting for, we've got our two brand new Lafay Carinata. If you guys are not familiar with that, that is the king rat snake. You know the really mean snakes that I have? Yeah, we got two more of the mean snakes. You guys might be asking me why. I'm falling in love with them. Even though they're so mean, it's kind of rewarding when you take them out and they stop biting you and you're able to handle such a beautiful snake. You know, some of them actually come very nice, like that one Xanthic that we have. And then we've got the T-positive and he is just a missile. What I like to call them, I call them piss missiles. Not nice, I hand, take them out, they musk all over me. They, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hectic scene when we gotta take those guys out of there. But they're getting a little bit better over time with handling. Hopefully we'll have a huge seven and a half eight and a half foot 
gigantic colubrid that is sweet. So that, that's the goal, is that hopefully we can work with these guys and make them really, really nice so over time when they're gigantic. Let's dig right into this and see what we're working with here. I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. We got nice and tight boxing. That's what you like to see. Oh. Whew. All right, guys. This is, this is a pretty big snake inside of this bag right here. We've got our first contender. I cannot wait to see what this guy looks like, but uh, definitely got some life inside of the bag, so that is a good sign. Yeah, these guys are quite large, everybody. I'm not gonna lie to you. These guys are uh, pretty, pretty nice size. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to get these guys out and take a look. We are going to start with this little male right here. Well, I shouldn't say little, he's a big male. But anyways, these guys are 100% heterozygous for hypo. So these are 100% hets. When I pair these together, these are actually unrelated as well. So when I pair them together, we will be able to hatch out little visual hypos. They almost look like, they almost kind of look like the T-positive albino. Let's hope that he's cool and not a raging missile. Woo! Hey, buddy. Wow. You are beautiful. Okay. Okay. All right. Very large snakes. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. Okay. Please don't bite me. It's okay, buddy. We're cool. We're cool. All right, guys. That was not as smooth as I thought it was going to be. It's okay. Don't bite my camera. All right, everybody, well, that is our brand new male king rat snake and exactly what I guessed, a piss missile, as you guys can see. Getting out, I really hope he doesn't bite me because I'm not gonna lie, it probably wouldn't feel the prettiest getting bit by a snake like this, but to say the least, everybody, this snake is absolutely beautiful. He's looking at the camera right now like, what the heck is that? Wow. Hi, hey, buddy. It's okay, see, we're cool people around here, dude. We're cool. Oh, you guys, that is our brand new 100% hypo king rat snake. And I think, he's, he's actually not that bad. I think just getting him out of the bag spooked him up a little bit. He looks really, really good, really healthy, nice and thick. Oh, that was a bite right at the camera lens. But uh, anyways, there you guys have it. Absolutely beautiful Chinese king rat snake that is a 100% het for a hypo. It's okay, buddy, we're cool. I promise you we're cool. But uh, like I said, I'm not gonna stress this guy out too much. Whew. All right, we've got the mail. He is inside of his little temporary bin. That was a little crazy, but we did it. We've got the mail out. I think it was just kind of getting him out of the bag. It spooked him a little bit. See my hand reach in there kind of uh, freaked him out a little bit for sure, but he's in there now. We're gonna get some heat pads under him. And uh, like I said, we're just gonna leave this guy alone for the most part. Let's hope that this female is gonna be a little bit smoother to work with here. Praying. <laughs> I'm like I said though, that male is, he's gonna be cool, I know it. He just kinda got a little spooked coming out of the bag. She, she feels honestly quite bigger. Oh wow. She is incredible looking. It's okay. Don't worry. I know, I know. Just for a sec, you just gotta get used to this for one sec. 
and we're gonna be so cool. We'll be so cool together. All right, so she's just gotta feel it out a second. There you go, okay, settle down. Look, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Not that bad at all. And look at how crazy different the patterns on this female are just outstanding. So this girl is, okay, I'm sorry. I moved a little too fast for you right there. I apologize, don't worry. But uh, this is our female, King Rat Snake. She, I don't know what it is with that camera, but they, they do not like that. Or the mic, she just lit up the mic. It's okay, girl. Hi. Hi. Look, see? We could be cool. We could be cool. Okay, she's not so bad. It's just sometimes when you hold them, they want to go so fast to your hand, but it's like, your hands are a little clammy, so it sticks to them a little bit, and she just wants to rip through my hands right now, but like, look, I'm not stopping her from doing it, but she gets a little stuck on my hands. That is a beautiful, beautiful snake. This is our female king rat snake. That is a 100% het for a hypo. She is actually much, much cooler than the male, that's for sure. I mean, the male, he was not getting down like this. She's pretty cool. I could actually hold her. Just a little hissy. That's about it. She does not like that camera. That's for dang sure. But I mean, you guys, these are the biggest snakes in our collection. Look at how beautiful. I mean, compared to my body, that's probably around a four foot snake, I'd say. She is absolutely stunning though. I mean, take a look at those yellows. Look at that animal right there. It's okay, you don't need to bite the mic, girl. That is. Hey. All right, you guys, I gotta sneak over the enclosure really quick. Oh, yep, and she let go. This little king rat snake is eating. Such a great sign already on the first day. All right, everybody, it's early the next morning. The snakes have been settling in for a whole day now. And uh, let's just say they both ate, both ate great. So that is a awesome sign. That is a very, very good sign that both of these snakes are already eating in my care. So uh, that makes me pretty happy. It uh, definitely knocks a lot of stress off my chest. I always get nervous that you know when I bring a new snake in, the new environment's gonna cause them not to eat. And you guys have probably all heard how snakes can go on hunger strikes for like a month or two. It's the most insane thing ever. But they are doing great. They both ate. And uh, let me give you guys a nice little update on them. And then before we wrap this video up here today, everybody, our pond is it's nasty. Look at it. Overnight, my pond kind of just kind of got gross. So what we're going to be doing today is doing a quick water change. Emptying all this water out, cleaning up the walls, checking out all the fish, cleaning the acrylic, and then we'll be filling it back up. So if you guys want to watch that, I'd recommend sticking around. But uh, let me update you guys on these snakes and show you how they're looking. Here is our male. Now, our hides are supposed to be here today. He knocked all his water over last night, so that's pretty cool, you know? And then here is our beautiful female. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. My camera cut off, but here is that amazing, amazing female. She's getting a little stressed out, so I'm not gonna mess with her too much. She has a meal in her, and I don't want her to regurge. But she is looking amazing, and then our, I'm not gonna say much too yet. I'm not gonna say much yet. Now, I'm not gonna say much yet, but I do think we have uh, a little deal in the works for some really, really, really nice enclosures for those king rats. So they don't have to stay in those bins for a little bit, but we're just gonna wait till quarantine's over and then we'll move them into an enclosure. They look amazing. That is a quick update on those snakes. Now let's get right into draining this bad boy. And a huge shout out to PC because he drove this by yesterday. Nice dechlorinator. He's like, yeah, man, you gotta change your water in the pond. So I was like, all right, yeah, you're right. So he brought us this little dechlorinator and uh, we got his big old pond vacuum. We're gonna get this thing to drain in and I will pick the camera up you guys when we we're about halfway, when there's little to no water inside of this pond. We are just about getting there. Gotta get that filter floss to fill up. And uh, everything looks great. Bites it looks great. All the fish I can really see perfectly right now. We gotta get in and clean this acrylic. But look at how nasty that is. Well, you guys, we are in the pond now, and uh, dang, this water is chilly. What we're gonna do is clean this acrylic so it's nice and clear from the other side, so we can see these fish when they're swimming by. Tiger Silvano is getting massive. Our big old red, our big old red tail is getting huge. Here comes our hybrid. 
Hi, buddy. We got our goldfish, all of our cichlids, got the bite shirt, we got the gar. Everybody looks to be doing amazing. Hi, buddy. Hey. Hey. We are now filling back up, as you can see, in hopes of this pond looking crystal, crystal clear when it's filled up. As we're filling up, you guys know we can't forget the API dechlorinator. This thing for surely drains fast, and let me tell you, it takes a long time to fill up, but look at how crystal clear that water is already looking up their nice water change. We got the acrylic extremely clean. We are almost, we are almost full. Just a little bit more. But uh, the water is looking crystal, crystal clear. Like I said, of course, it's a little stirred up right now because of the sand, but I gotta really tell this is gonna be crystal, crystal clear. All right, G-Squad, we are now done with the water change and look at how crystal clear that is. Everybody is looking great. Waiting for some pellets. Look at that, crystal, crystal clear. All right, everybody. I love it how uh, these cichlids have kind of gotten really used to me. So we'll sit right up at the top. Look at the colors on all those beautiful, beautiful fish. Everybody's going to work. Well, what a day shared with you guys here today. This will wrap it up here. We uh, got two amazing, big king rat snakes that are 100% heterozygous for hypo from a good friend named Mike Anthony. Amazon Reptile Corner, if you guys want to go and check him out on Instagram, I recommend it for sure. He's got some killer, killer animals, and he's got amazing, an amazing king rat collection. So if you guys want to go and check his stuff out, that is Mike Anthony on Facebook or Amazon Reptile Corner. Make sure you guys go and show him some love because today's video wouldn't have been possible without him. And I mean, we got two gorgeous, gorgeous snakes already eating. So far, so good. It seemed to be very healthy. And uh, we're just going to keep an eye on them over the next probably 60 days. And we also got to do a gigantic pond water change the water is still currently filling up right now i'll still of course give you guys clips after the fact but i'm wrapping the intro up right now and that is all she wrote here today g squad we got two gorgeous brand new snakes from our good friend mike anthony or amazon reptile corner whatever you guys would like to call them but we got two gorgeous gorgeous snakes down there very big snakes to say the least and we did a big old water change on the big old predatory pond so Hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. It was kind of another at home little based video, but we will be getting back into the adventures and back into doing some cool stuff. It's been, uh, it's been a little hectic over here lately, but hopefully you guys do not mind all these videos at home inside of the garage. I mean, this is what I made this place for. But G-Squad, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to come and visit next week.